Can you imagine what you can do with your old clothes? Like the possibility is endless. Like in my head right now, it's endless. But anyways, this particular DIY has been specifically made for you to follow and do it yourself. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch this. All you have to do is get you a needle and thread and follow along. We're going to be creating a pattern because this is also going to be a learning process for you. So yes, grab that pattern paper, grab your marker or pencil and let's start creating. What we are going to do is rule a starting line and that starting line is just going to help us mark the first point which is the shoulder, okay? You divide your shoulder measurements by two and mark it down from this point here to this point. Shoulder measurement is 15. Divided by two, you fold your tape into two. Now I have 7.5. Now from this point here, I'll come down by one inch for the slope. I'll connect the slope here to this point, that's the neckline. From my slope, I'll mark my armhole measurement and my round armhole divided by 2 gives you 8. So divide your round armhole by 2 and mark it down from this point. So please confirm if the measurement you have from here to here, which is your shoulder measurement divided by 2, is the width you have from here to here. As you can see, mine isn't. I'm just going to adjust. And now I can connect from this point to the slope. And also go ahead and rule a horizontal line from this point. Now the next thing is for us to place our tape from the starting line, which is this point here, and mark the bust point. What I'll do next is place my tape from the starting line and mark the length which is going to be acting as the waist. I'll mark the length of the stop. Next thing we're going to do is work on the armhole and how to do that is we're going to find the middle point from the slope here to this point. The middle point for me is 4. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. So this is the middle point. Now from this middle point, because this is the front and the cow neck we're making, we need only one pattern, which is just the front. I'm going to mark 0.75 in from the middle point. So on your tape, this is 0.75. This is half inches and this is 0.75. And this is how much I'm going in on my middle point. Now connect this with my straight ruler. And I'll go ahead and use my curve ruler to connect. But before then, I'm going to divide my round bust by 4 and mark on this line. So this is my round bust divided by 4. Now I can connect this point here to this using my curve ruler. This is what we have. So what I'll do now is take this measurement down because I'm supposed to, the next thing for me to do is divide my round bust by four, which is what I have here. So you can just take it down. 
and this line is going all the way to the length because this is a cow neck top it's not a dress we don't need it fitted we need it free and we're going to be adding like rope at the down parts to connect to the back okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to mark what i have here on the bust on this line which is nine inches my round bust divided by four So what we're going to do next, to get the cow neck, we're going to find the middle point of this curve. Now not the middle point of this line, the middle point of this curve we have here. So what I have on this measurement here like this is 10 and I'm dividing 10 by 2 and I have 5. So the middle point of this curve right here is 5 inches. So I'm just going to mark 5 inches from here upwards I'm just going to take this line straight down here and what I'll do is I will extend this line out It depends on how much you want your cow neck to fall. That will depend on what you're going to be marking here at this middle point. As for me, I want it to, I want it to fall a little bit, um, medium way, not too small, not too much. So I'm just going to mark 9.5 inches on this line. So this is 9.5 inches on the middle line and I'm going to connect this 9.5 back to the measurement I have here this is what we're going to be using for the cow neck so now another thing is if you want it to be deep a little bit deep or deeper you can reduce the center front by 1 or 1.5 so I'm just going to mark 1 inches down from this point Just go ahead and connect this to this point here. So let's go ahead and add the allowance guys. We're going to add half inch allowance on the pattern. So we need to line the main piece. So we're going to be cutting out two because we need one for the main piece and we need one for the lining. And also we'll go ahead and cut out straps that we're going to use to attach, to tie on the neck and also to the back. Okay, let's do that. So this should be placed on a folded edge, okay? Folded edge, a closed edge. Another thing you need to know that we have two pieces here, main piece and lining. So you need two pieces and we need only the front because what we have at the back is rope. We're going to be attaching rope at this point and then at the down. So let's go ahead and cut out our strap.
So we're going to sew this, sew this to join to get a longer strap and then we're going to be using this for the upper part. Okay, so let's go ahead and start sewing. Sew by half an inch. So we're sewing by half an inch. So now I'm just going to use my needle and thread to pass this, to flip this to the right side. So I'm using the needle for this and it has a thread already and I'm just going to go ahead and sew a little bit on an opening here, just on one side. I'll secure my thread, make sure that it doesn't pull out. So I have four of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the longer one for the top part. So I'm just going to pin this here at the right side of the fabric. And the second one here. Go ahead and place the lining on this and sew all around, leaving a two inches space to flip to the right side. So let's do that. Go ahead and sew the space, close up the space that you use in flipping to the right side and then I'll go ahead and iron this out, okay? Bye. 